Everybody out here at the Kennedy Space Center getting pretty excited to see this rocket take off holding the GOES U satellite is the fourth and final uh, weather monitoring satellite in its series. So if we take a look behind me, you can see there is 17, 16 and down to 15 seconds left until we are ready to go. The weather officers, they said we have a 70% chance of. OK, we're going to go ahead and listen. Let's go ahead. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, ignition, engine full power, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go Falcon Heavy, go NOAA, go NASA, and go, go you. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Engine chamber pressure is nominal. You are watching the launch of the GOES-U satellite just taking lift off out of Kennedy Center Space Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Uh, we've been watching and waiting for this all day long. It looks like they had perfect weather conditions to go ahead and launch this off into uh, the sky there, and we're still watching it as it continues to fire through. We have Brandy Candle there in the field out of Cape Canaveral, Canaveral uh, at this point as we've been watching and waiting for this. Brandy, thanks so much for joining us back. I mean, this is a monumental, a historical <laughs> moment. Um, that satellite is going up into space to do a very important wow. job. Yeah, that's right, Kiana. While they are very exciting to watch, I mean, you can just feel the vibrations from the rocket. I mean, it's a very powerful one taking off, but we know the meaning behind it and the work that it's going to do once it is up in orbit, taking over that position as goes east is really important, especially to the work we do here uh, at Fox Weather as you as a meteorologist. So we're going to be waiting to get those images from this satellite uh, and really just the warnings that it can provide to our forecasters. But now it is making its way up, uh, the rocket pushing it further up into the atmosphere, and so we can just see a, a big cloud left behind, but we can still see uh, just the fire flames behind uh, the Falcon Heavy rocket. And so we know uh, minutes after the side boosters, those are going to separate from that spacecraft, and then they are actually going to land right back here on land at the Kennedy Space Center. So still more things to look out for, and we should also hear two sonic booms once that separation happens. Uh, but we we do know in the couple of weeks following today's launch, the satellite itself, it's going to make its way into geostationary orbit. So that can take a couple of weeks. And once it gets there, uh, it'll take a couple of months for them to do checks. Or really, it could take about six months for them to do full checks on the satellite before it eventually moves into its permanent placement as goes east. So again, just amazing to see it go off. I know all morning here on Fox Weather, we were wondering if weather was going to hold up. I mean, it was a beautiful day but clouds was a factor, but also lightning, and some of it could have been triggered by the spacecraft itself. So thankfully, that was not an issue. It looks like things have gone off uh, <laughs> very smoothly for the teams here. We have a lot of different uh, camera crews out here, a lot of people just capturing this moment in history. Again, it is the last, the final uh, fourth series, or I should say satellite in the GOES R series. So they have a successful launch, and now we'll be looking forward to the work that it does once it is is up in orbit. Kiana. Uh, Brandy, we just saw the boosters separate. I have Adam here with me. You know, I can feel the the mm -hmm. electricity there in the field there. It's here in the studio. You wanted to ask Brandy a question. Yeah, well, Brandy, I never get tired of watching <laughs> these on TV. Have you been to one of these before? I've been to one in person, actually, uh -huh. and it was incredible. Uh, have you been to one before? And like, yeah. how does it feel every single time? Because I was just really stoked watching you watch it. Like, that got me excited. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was the nerves of will it happen because it was an all or nothing thing for them after they fueled it. But I was really excited. You can just feel the vibrations from it. It's nerves from watching it. It also just doesn't feel real. It kind of feels like you're watching a movie. But this was my third here at the Kennedy Space Center. But I've also seen one like about an hour north of this area just by coincidence. So it's cool every single time. <laughs> it, it never gets old. <laughs>
It was by coincidence. Coincidence. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I was just driving down the street, and there went a rocket up into the just air. Just in the That's area. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I mean, I, listen, I wish it would happen to me. I wish I had that coincidence. Uh, Brandy, we saw the boosters separate. At any given point, do you know if mm -hmm. those will come back down to Earth? Uh, will we be able to see that? Yeah, so Emily Speck, our space expert, she said it should be about eight minutes that we oh. should hear the sonic booms. I, honestly, I don't know if I'm hearing something right now. I might just be imagining that. <laughs> she said not yet. <laughs> so we should hear the sonic booms uh, and they should actually land back here on land. So we'll get keep you guys updated. I think it's going to be a couple more minutes until that part actually happens. <laughs>